San Francisco-based Latina author Margot Candela is releasing her fifth novel, which partially takes place right here in San Francisco. Her latest book, The Neapolitan Sisters, is a story about heritage and home, and Margot joins us in studio now. Margot, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, you are an author who has been doing this for quite a while. Mm -hmm. You took a 10-year hiatus mm -hmm. before you wrote your fifth novel, which is The Neapolitan Sisters. Mm -hmm. why, the, why the hiatus? Reality. Mm -hmm. um, I had different uh, responsibilities and I had to put writing on the back burner to focus on what is the most important role in my life, which is being a good mom. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the kid owes me. So yeah. he's well on his way, and um, now it's time for me to do what I, whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's amazing news. Now, after you took that 10-year ten, that ten break, you did produce your fifth novel here. Mm -hmm. So what went into maybe making this a little bit more special compared to other books you've written? I had a lot more um, confidence, but I, I actually having a long break, I did have to relearn how, my writing habits and mm. um, relearn uh, being confident in my own self. Um, but I was smarter and I approached it in a different way and I was older and wiser and um, gave a lot less uh, weight to meeting other people's expectations and wanted to write the book that was the right the right way, mm -hmm. the right story, even if it was a little bit darker than what I normally had done in the past. Incredible. So it sounds like the break actually did you a little bit of good because you were able to gain that confidence. I also I gained confidence in a divorce, so that helped a lot. I think, you know, <laughs> you just go. kind of, you know, I was out of the mom job, I mm -hmm. was out of the wife business, and I could really focus on what I needed to do for my own life. And a big part of my life besides uh, my son is writing, so... Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great job. It, it, you know, it, it goes for long hours and you never know what's going to happen, but it's a wonderful, um, I really don't take it for granted what I get to do. Well, now that you have released your fifth book here, what can people expect? What can readers take away from this book? I think it's a good indicator of what, uh, what's to come, which I'm going to write with much more integrity and honesty. I'm going to touch on darker topics. Uh, also, you know, be much more sex positive um, and, um, really explore a person's experience from a fuller perspective. Um, mm -hmm. And also humor. And um, I, you know, I, I, I'm really proud of this book. And I think it is a very good indicator of what people can expect in the future. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, you, you mentioned how this process was a little bit different, was better for you. What went into the creative process of making this novel? Hubris and ego and a lot of um, commitment to just sitting down and doing the writing and uh, not giving myself a pass when it got difficult or wasn't fun. I had to sit down and just do it. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of pride, honestly, for the first time. I think this is the first book where I, I said out loud that I loved it, you know? And yeah. the only, you love things, right? Uh, you love your, I love my son, but I really do love this book. And admitting that to myself was a huge step. Because I'm a, I come from a working class background, and we were raised to take pride in doing a job. Mm -hmm. And this, I realize, this is much more than a job. It's a craft. It's an art, and it's an incredible privilege that I get to do it. Well, as a reader, it makes me even more excited to read this book, knowing that you poured so much love and effort into it. But let's get a little bit deeper into the story and some of the characters. Who are the main characters? It's three sisters, uh, Dulcina, also known as Dooley, middle sister Claudia, and the youngest sister Maritza. And they all grew up in Boyle Heights, uh, sharing the same room. Um, and then they eventually went on their different paths. Uh, Dooley moved to San Francisco, uh, where she had, you know, pretty long-standing drug and uh, drinking problem. Claudia went to Princeton and is very successful, a movie producer. Mm -hmm. And Maritza is a super competent, abrasive um, importer of soft drinks from Asia and oh. still lives at home. And so they all reunite because Maritza's getting married again. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of is the, the, the catalyst to, to get them together. But they each have their own stories that converge uh, while they find themselves in their bedroom again, sharing the same bedroom. And what, was this story inspired by any real life events in your life or around you? Uh, I have a really good imagination. And so it's actually, the book is a lot funner than my own life. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I, you do, as a writer, you do notice things, um, but I try to make sure that I don't cannibalize my own, you know, my family's experience or anything. So it is fiction. I think, and I think it's not necessarily a wedding story, um, but I think weddings, I think, uh, are like a universal appeal mm -hmm. um, because there's so much drama 
and uh, there's layers of drama that are really are, are not about the the wedding at all. Um, so I mean, it's just you know, like sometimes people will say something funny, and I'll just kind of clock it. Um, mm -hmm. So th I do do that. I do admit to doing that. Well, now that you've released your fifth novel, what's coming up next for you? Hopefully, another novel and a vacation. <laughs> We all need vacation. I would like a vacation, like a real vacation. Yeah. Uh, I am going to Disneyland. Uh, Exciting. Yes. Uh, I couldn't, I was going to go to a hockey game when I was down in LA, but the Kings are on the road. So I'm taking myself and my nephew to Disneyland. And I think I'm going to go full on, like the <laughs> super pass kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I hope to start the next novel in the coming year. Good. Well, absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing that with us. Thank you for having me again. We appreciate yeah. it.